again to another Freshman 15 where we help you discover tools to make your college experience successful academically and personally. Now, can you believe it? We are only a couple of weeks away from the end of the fall semester. This is also an exciting time for so many of our friends who are transitioning to universities across the country to complete their bachelor's degree. While it's not uncommon for university students to transfer campuses during their academic career, community colleges are unique in that the primary function of the institution is to help prepare students for this transition. So today I've invited Stephanie Duffy to come and talk with us about her experience as she prepares to transfer to Regents University in this spring. Uh, my name is Stephanie Duffy, and I am a campus pastor with Tarrant County College, and I have three grown children, and I'm married with a granddaughter, um, and my children are all currently in college as well. So I started college a little bit later in life. I didn't start until <clears throat> actually my, my early 40s, just because my husband was going through college and doing his thing. So I really started a little bit later in life. And when I started college, I decided on a community college, one, because it was easier for me and I wasn't sure how far I wanted to go. Stephanie, thank you for making time to sit down with us today. Now, in your introduction, you mentioned that when you started out, you were not really certain about whether you wanted to transfer or continue at a four-year university. Can you share a few of the factors or reasons that helped you make this decision? I started at Tarrant County College and I've been there for the last three years. And when I started this, when I started college, I started to think about what I wanted to do in my future. Did I want to take this further? Did I want to move into a four-year college? And it wasn't until about I guess two years in. So I, I was on my last two semesters that I, I really started to think about the four-year college that I wanted to go to. And when I did, I, I knew I had to really think about what, I, what my long-term goals were, how far I wanted to carry this. And then I had to think about my finances as well. So I knew I wanted something with a Christian background, something with Bible and theology. Um, and I wanted something with business as well. So I started to do some research on, on the colleges that offered that program. And, and I did some research on cost as well. So we need to begin this process by looking into programs we feel we might enjoy studying and how much it might cost us to attend the universities that offer these programs. Now, you also talked about doing research on the different schools. Can you share a little bit more about what this looks like? When I started to research what colleges I, I wanted to do, what I did was is, is I really started to Google them and I began to write down information about each college, I mean, which was important. It was, was writing it down. So I would look at uh, their I would look at the programs, most specifically looking for the program that, that I wanted and was interested in. Then I would look at the cost in it going into the program. And from there, uh, I really started to talk to people. If I was interested in a certain school and I knew that someone had went to that school, I started to talk to that person, kind of ask them some questions, how their experience was, what they thought was, was good about the school they went to. Um, and really, I guess, about some of the programs that they were in, you know, term limits, some of them were eight, eight week programs, some of them were 16 week programs, and going in, you know, into a four year college, I wanted to make sure that I was prepared to put the work in for it. I wrote down the colleges that I, I was interested in, but I wrote down things like the tuition cost, I wrote down the hidden cost, um, I wrote down what was available and what I was interested in, looking forward into what I really wanted to do. And I, I wrote down things such as the scholarship programs that they had, um, library access that they had. <clears throat> I even wrote down some of the, I guess, event programs like ministry 
extracurricular activities that they had in school. Even though I knew I was going to be an online student, I really wanted to kind of stay connected. When I first started, I wanted kind of a hybrid, a little bit in school, a little bit online, mostly in school, just so that I had a chance to connect and, and kind of network with other people. But I knew I needed, I needed something that was convenient for me. And actually the school that I ended up choosing that really had the program, the degree program that fit what I was looking for, really had the finances that I was looking for, um, because I knew I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't want to come out of, out of my bachelor's degree with, with a whole lot of debt. So I ended up with a school that was out of state. So obviously I wasn't going to move out of state. So it was going to be an online decision for me that when we went online, it really just trained me in how to um, take the classes that I needed online, how to interact with teachers and other students online. So in a way, as much as, as it wasn't, I mean, it was, it's a terrible thing to happen. It still has some advantages. And one of those was, was just continuing my online education just for my convenience. Beyond investigating the courses and the cost online and with friends, how did your interaction with the prospective universities influence your decision-making process? The school that I chose, and, and one of the reasons I chose it was the transfer process was, was just, it was very easy. They made it easy for me. Um, one of the biggest things is, is when I contacted the school, not only did they contact me by email, they called me, actually they've called me several times now, getting all of my paperwork and my transcripts and in my email all set up through this school. They, they walked me through all of this and they already have enrolled me in, in, in uh, one of the campus ministries that's already their own school so that I would stay connected with their students. So one of the things that I truly recommend when you're looking for a school is when you reach out to them, if, if they are quick to reach back out to you in any way, in email and phone calls, that's, you know, and they're willing to answer any and all questions for you. That's a good school. I can see how the response of a potential university is definitely going to play a huge role in how we feel about spending our money and our time with them. What about TCC? What kind of assistance did you find through this process from our campus? Trying to work with Tarrant County College, it was a pretty easy process as well. The good thing about uh, TCC is that they have, um, they have an easy website to navigate through. So I was just able to access all my transcripts and, and really just get them sent over. Um, so, you know, that was, uh, that was a positive as far as Tarrant County. You know, like I said, COVID has kind of made it a little bit harder, which it's, we're just in unprecedented times right now. So um, it's just not something that can be helped, but they did as much as they could to try and make it as easy for me as well. We hear a lot about beginning with the end in mind. Can you talk briefly about what other TCC students can do to make this transition easier for them? Start early. If you're looking to attend a larger university, you know you're going to transfer, start looking early. You don't, you don't necessarily have to start reaching out to the colleges early, but I would start thinking about it early on. And then start reaching out um, at least within, within your last semester to see what they have to offer. And that way you're prepared and you're ready to go. Stephanie, thank you again for being a part of our Freshman 15 this week. We appreciate your openness and honesty about the ups and downs of this transfer process. In addition, I want to thank everyone for being a part of this important conversation. We welcome your feedback on this topic or share some ideas for future topics. Don't forget about our club meeting this week. We invite you to join our Zoom meeting Wednesday at noon or listen to it anytime on our Facebook page. Until next time, remember you're not alone and when you feel stretched, you're learning. Now, before we go, Stephanie, do you have a final thought for our, your fellow TCC students? Stick with it. I guess that's my advice. If you're gonna start and you're gonna do something, Finish it, run that race.